If you are thinking about becoming a wildlife biologist, you probably already know that you need to get a solid education, skills, and experience. But most people make the mistake of only focusing on these general requirements. That's exactly what I did. But if you don't know what type of job you ultimately want and where you want to work, you are likely gonna miss out on key skills, educational requirements, and experiences that will get you one of those jobs. I know that's exactly what happened to me. This field is incredibly competitive and you don't want to end up that way. I am Dr. Stephanie Shuttler. I am a wildlife biologist and my channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. And today I'm going to share with you a new tool that I've developed for what I had wish I had done when I first started my career in wildlife biology. Now, if you watch my video on my biggest tip, you know that it's to start looking for the jobs that you want right now. And this is because the market is really saturated. Every year there are more graduates of PhD programs, master programs, bachelor's programs in the wildlife biology field. And the field itself hasn't grown as much. In fact, when I was in graduate school, we would frequently hear about jobs closing or people retiring and them not filling the position, but instead dividing the work amongst other employees. So you wanna make sure you have a strategy and that you're a lot smarter about going into this. And I don't mean smarter like intellectually, I mean that you have a game plan that you are gonna make yourself the most competitive for the job that you want. I see over and over again people making this same mistake. I belong to this Facebook group that is a wildlife careers networking site and so many people ask the generic question, what types of skills should I be getting? What types of experiences should I be getting to make myself competitive? And my question is always, what do you want to do? Because if you want to be competitive for a research faculty position at a university, you are going to need different skills, different experiences, different qualifications than you would if you are going to be a scientist, a wildlife biologist at a state government agency. When I was in graduate school and people would ask me what I wanted to be, I would always say that I didn't know, that I wanted to do something that involved research and conservation, but I wasn't necessarily tied to a certain workplace, a certain uh, system, certain questions, and I kind of went about it getting more general experience, and then when I got out looking at the job boards and being like, wow, this is a really cool job, this is a really cool job, I should apply for this, and I applied to jobs research positions, outreach positions, faculty positions, although I actually didn't really want to go into academia, um, even an executive director position. And what I found is that while I was competitive for these positions and I could land an interview, when I finally got the interview, I did well, but there was always someone who was more perfectly suited for the position. They had just one more extra skill or just one next level of experience than me that made them more competitive for the position. So my advice to you now is to figure out as best as you can the career route that you ultimately want to take, the ideal job that you want, or ideal jobs so you can at least follow that trajectory and have a good sense of what you need to get in case you end up following that path. I was thinking about what would be most helpful for people in this situation. So I created this tool called the Job Tracker, and I will put a link at the in the description of this YouTube video. But basically, it's a spreadsheet, and it's a way to organize your jobs. And what I want you to do is to search the job boards, sign up for email alerts for job boards that have those, those are awesome. And once a week, go through the jobs and copy and paste certain elements of the jobs into this job tracker. I have fields for soft skills, technical skills, you'll be filling out the responsibilities, the locations, the salaries if they have them, obviously what type of educational requirements, if you need um, particular program experience, all of this goes in the job tracker. And if you do this now while you're young, 
you will be able to see patterns. And actually copying and pasting these different fields, the highlights from these different fields, will force you to slow down and really think about what you want in your career. A lot of people tell me, that they want to go into this career because they love being outdoors, but really look at the position and are the activities that they describe being outdoors. If you are meeting with a lot of stakeholders or making a lot of reports, analyzing data, those are not outdoor activities. This job tracker will help you really pay attention, really focus to the types of qualifications, skills, experiences necessary to get the type of job that you want. And this is my number one advice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find the job tracker helpful. Please leave comments below. I am happy to revise it, add on to it. I am writing a book on wildlife biology careers that will be out this fall, fall of 2020. And it is including all the different career options, a broad overview, my experience in the field. I've been in this field since 2003, what it's like to be on the job market. And I actually have a whole chapter dedicated to all the jobs I applied for that I didn't get and the interviews that I got and why I didn't get those jobs. So you guys can really learn from me because I was told over and over again that academia was really competitive, but nobody told me that jobs in government, nonprofits, those are the jobs that I was mostly interested in. Nobody ever gave me the sense that they were competitive and the truth is that they are. So you gotta go about this and be really smart and I am here to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any more videos that are offering you tips on your careers in wildlife biology, as well as fun animals or other fun things to talk about like conservation. Thanks guys. Bye.